going on everybody welcome to the heels corner today we're looking at the top 10 most deadliest moves that wwe has banned when i see these moves and you're going to see them in these clips as well we often question why these moves are a thing in the wwe because frankly they are very dangerous frankly they could probably kill one of the wrestlers so sit back relax and enjoy as i count down my picks for the top 10 most deadliest move that wwe has banned number 10 the Wings of Love. We're gonna start this list off gently with a move known as the Wings of Love. That is a move that was perfected by the one and only Michelle McCool and is considered to be very impressive due to her size. Now, the Wings of Love featured McCool raising her opponent upside down by the arms and then dropping them on their face. Now, the move was originally banned because WWE thought that the move was too aggressive for WWE girls. You need to talk about equality. The close end of the victory. The show calls out the, uh, the wings of love. Number nine, the Tiger Driver. This move is extremely deadly when it is not performed correctly, and we've seen superstars such as Chris Jericho and Cesaro being given the green light to perform this move in the past, but it seems that WWE has decided to ban any sort of variation of this move. Basically, the way it works is that you hook your opponent's arms up as if you're going to go for a double underhook DDT, and then you push them up into a powerbomb position and throw them down on their back, but in several cases, instead of the superstar landing on their backs, they will instead land on their necks. Ow. Number eight, the buckle bomb. This move was made popular due to superstars like Seth Rollins, and it has now been banned. The move is simple as it's a power bomb, but instead of landing on the mat, you're thrown into the turnbuckle. Now, that doesn't sound deadly, but unfortunately, this move has been botched enough and caused enough injuries to be taken off the shelf for good. Finn Balor received a deadly buckle bomb from Seth Rollins at SummerSlam 2016, which led to him vacating the title. And of course, most recently, Nia Jax, the irresistible force, used the buckle bomb on Kyrie Sane, which led to her getting an injury, and this was the last draw, and WWE decided to scrap the move for good. Finn is, uh, Finn is now oh! Number 7. The Flying Headbutt Look, you don't need for me to explain to you why a wrestler diving off the top rope and bumping heads with the wrestler on the mat can be deadly. This move was made famous because of people like Chris Benoit and Daniel Bryan. It was scrapped after Bryan though as he ended up having a serious head injury that would end up taking him out of the ring for a short time. The company was also receiving piles of lawsuits from concussions so they thought it would be easier to just scrap the move altogether. Take out, oh. 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 Right. Think Number 6. The Canadian Destroyer out of all the deadly ass moves on this list, the Canadian Destroyer is by far the most impressive and amusing to watch. And even the most trained professional athletes could not pull this move off. The move was created by Canadian wrestler P.D. Williams, and it's sort of confusing to explain it, but I'm going to try my best. So basically, Williams will place his opponent in a powerbomb position, and then he'll flip over their back, and it seems like the wrestler he's doing it to will also flip and then it'll turn into like a pile driver. It doesn't sound real. Science, it doesn't sound real. But just watch this and you'll see why. He's got him loaded. Canadian destroyer. Loaded. Number five, the curb stomp. Another move infamously performed by the one and only Seth Rollins. The idea of running up to your stomp your opponent's head into the mat is already deadly to hear about. And similarly to the flying headbutt, this move was causing enough concussions for the WWE to say it'd be easier enough to scrap the curb stop for a short time. But this wouldn't last, of course, as we still see Seth Rollins on Raw constantly delivering the curb stop. But it was banned for a short time. Number four, the Burning Hammer. A move with the name Burning Hammer is already enough to send shows down your spine, and once you see it, you'll understand why. This move is actually so dangerous that it's only been performed a few times in professional wrestling and it's never been seen in WWE. The Japanese wrestler that, that perfected it, Kenta Kaboshi, only used it seven times. Imagine a wrestling move only being used seven times. The move is essentially a wrestler laying his opponent's back on his shoulders as he drops him to the side only to land on his neck. 
holy shit. WWE actually tried a modified version of this of Tyler Rex, but that wasn't as nearly as deadly as the true burning hammer. Number 3. The Kaniku Buster WWE actually has a version of the Kaniku Buster with Samoa Joe's Muscle Buster, but that is a more safe version of this move. But I'll use it to explain how the move works. So imagine a Muscle Buster, but instead of the opponent landing on their upper back, the wrestler performing the move will drop down on his ass, allowing for the full weight of the opponent to come crashing down and driving their neck into the former's shoulder. What the fuck? Number two, chair shots to the head. Any fan that used to watch WWE during the Attitude Era would know that a move like this wasn't unusual. It was constantly performed. But when WWE decided to move towards more family friendly content, this move was quickly banned. It may be because it seems too easy for a kid to pick up a chair and decide to hit his friend on the head with it, and that may be why it was banned in the first place. And of course, I do not need to mention concussions anymore in this video. And number one, the original pedigree. Good old Hunter Herb Soundsley, the game who was infamously known for his finisher, the pedigree, actually used to perform the move in a different version. In today's day, we see the receiver of the pedigree land directly on their chest, face, or arms. However, this move used to be significantly more dangerous as the receiver of the move would actually land on their head. Ow! This move was deadly as fuck, and it's no surprise that WWE decided to modify it. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, oh. And those are the top 10 deadliest moves that WWE have banned. Trust me, there are plenty more, but I think those are the deadliest. As you've seen in those clips, they could literally kill someone. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what moves scared you and what you want to see me do next for our top 10. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.